Okay, so I've been making a few videos on Romans uh, because the subject came up uh, last night at uh, in Luke's study, and um, as I, I uh, had to erase the first one I did because uh, it was done really quickly. But anyway, I wanted to um, to talk about that a little bit. Um, I um, I don't feel comfortable in the in the group setting um, uh, type uh, Google Hangout. Um, way of doing things, um, you know. So, you know, I try to express um, where I, you know, uh, where I was going when Romans seven, but it was very hard for me because I wasn't prepared. And I think that's probably uh, the issue I have with uh, with Google Plus. You know, they took me out of YouTube. You know, and my YouTube is where I was comfortable as a person with Asperger's syndrome, and and I've been doing these hangouts here and there, but I. Um, the thing is, is that it's very hard for me to, um, to, um, you know, if I'm unprepared, put together on a on a question answer type based thing, uh, a, a sound, um, you know, a cohesive lesson plan or whatnot. I can't think off the top of my head so quickly as how I would I would go about it, and I don't want to, um, you know. I, and the thing is, is that things stick in my head. And I can't get them out of there, you know, and um, especially Romans 7, because it's so very dear to me, um, the way I was set free from from sin, and how I see that a lot of people are stuck in the Romans 7 mill, if you will, because they're living according to what Paul said, I keep doing what I don't want to do. And um, basically what, what Romans 6 and was all about and, and to Romans 8 through Romans 7 was it's all about how to get off of that treadmill of sin and um, not that we stop sinning completely but that the slavery the yoke of slavery under sin the fear of sin if you will that put that that captivates you um, when you repent and this is the, tr the truly repent and that's not fighting against um, yourself, but looking towards God. Uh, that's true repentance, which takes away the burden, which makes you be able to walk in His love. See, um, I never had victory in my Christian walk struggling with my sins. I always I got victory in my Christian walk by, stop, by, by not struggling with my sins, but looking to my Savior. Changed everything for me. Um, no, I didn't completely stop this, stop sinning, but all of those stubborn things that I was trying to get rid of, the more I tried to get rid of them by my own might, you know, beating my body up, doing what I had to do to try to stop myself, the worse I got. I wound up in Paul's struggle, and that was doing what I didn't want to do and agreeing that the law was good and getting stuck in this slavery to sin. But you see, that verse is not the true Christian walk. That verse had to do with living a life that's unspiritual, that doesn't have the Holy Spirit, and that is a slave to sin. When all the other verses show you that you're not a slave anymore because you have a spirit within you. Your spirit now fights with the other spirit. Your, the spirit of grace now puts in check the spirit of, uh, of your flesh and the law and subdues it. And the more you walk in that spirit, the spirit that took the law away, the more victory you have over the flesh. So you no longer walk in this pathetic walk that makes you keep on falling. And this is what happens in the Christian life when you start to realize Jesus' love, the more victory you have over sin. And I know there's a lot of people struggling out there, and I really I wanted to bring that out because I thought it was important and I just couldn't in that venue. And, um, you know, that's why it's hard for me to do that venue. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm not a social person. So, you know, I'm sorry if I, um, I, I got zealous over it because I couldn't go back to it and go over it as well as I could. Um, but I, I do want to say that, that um, you know, maybe it's better for me, I like YouTube better than Google+, Plus. you know, it's better for me to do my videos the way they are. Anyway, take care. God bless all.